Shalom family and welcome back to Amazing Love. As always, it is an honor and a pleasure to be here with you guys. And I truly, truly mean that. Um, I just, I love to serve the Lord. That is first and foremost. I'm not perfect at it. However, I love to be of service to the Lord. So anytime I have an opportunity where the Lord allows me to come on and just share his thoughts, it's just like, wow, Lord, thank you for choosing me. And, you know, that's just what it is. So um, I am so excited about the things that the Lord wants me to share with you today. Um, I'm I'm always excited, but some messages are a little bit harder or you know, I might be in a place where I'm still trying to figure things out, you know. Um, but this message right here, like I can't even explain to you right now how you guys are truly receiving from a place of overflow. Like I am at such a place of overflow. Like I just can't even contain it. Like I had I felt I literally felt like I was about to spill over. Um you know, I've just been kind of doing some things and just allowing the Lord to order my steps. And I knew it was time for me to stop what I was doing and start recording this message because I literally feel like I am about to bubble over. I just pray that the Holy Spirit comes in and have his way. So Holy Spirit, come in, do what you do best. No, no one can speak the way you speak. No one can flow the way you flow. It all comes from you. And so I ask that you have your way. Help us to be able to receive your message, Lord God. Help us to be able to just really marinate in the goodness that you have for us to feast on on this day. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify you because you don't have to. You don't have to be here. You don't have to speak to us. You can have us in a place of, of just silence where we're not hearing from you. But you are inviting us in and you're saying, I am here. Pray to me when I can be found. Because there are times where we will cry out and you will be silent. But I thank you, Lord, that that is not the season that we are in. We want to take advantage of this moment. And we want to glean. We want to be able to just receive everything that you have for us to grasp and, and, and grab hold of. So, Father, I thank you for meeting us here. I thank you for sharing your thoughts. Those things that you have stored up for us. Thank you for allowing us to see that spiritually and in the natural. I am just so moved by your grace. I am so moved by your relationship that you're choosing to have with each and every one of us. May each and every person that is listening to this message feel the overflow. May they feel the spirit of God on this morning. And may they take hold and grasp tightly that we may be able to walk and fulfill the purpose that you've called us to on this very day. I thank you, Lord God. I glorify you. I honor you. I worship you. I praise you because you and you alone are worthy of it all. My God, I bless your name. There is no love that could ever compare to the love that you give us. There is no joy, there is no peace that could ever compare to the love and the joy and the peace that you give us. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My God, God is good, God is good, God is good. So, um, 
this is somewhat of a continuation of the message that the Lord had me le uh, upload on yesterday. And there were some things that the Lord was saying, you know, I need you to go back and I need you to expound on this. I need you to speak about that. And, you know, a lot of my messages, I don't know if you noticed, but the Lord does not have me. He has me to speak on the surface a lot of the times. And the reason why the Lord gives me the messages the way that he gives it to me is because he wants you to go in and do the work. He wants you to do the digging. Like I'll make very general statements and whatever it is that he's having me speak on, it's it's going to touch you. You're going to know that it's for you because it's things that the Lord has been dealing with you. You know, he's been getting your attention on. So you're able to connect. And, and, and even if, you know, there's some things that the Lord has been saying and you haven't quite been hearing him, there's something in you that is going to connect to what the Lord is saying, right? But then he wants you to take that to him and he wants you to dig deep. So a lot of the times I'll touch on things like, for instance, numbers. I won't give you a lot unless the Lord tells me to. I'm not going to go into specifics. I'm not going to give you a specific number. I'm not going to break down that number for you because there are there are seasons, there are times um, where the Lord will have you do that. Don't get me wrong. But for me, for me, if the Lord says, Shannon, I don't want you to dive deep into this. I'm not going to dive deep into it. But then there are other moments where he's saying, I need you to expound on this. Dig a little bit deeper for him. And so that's what this message is going to um, speak on or touch on today. Again, I don't know all of what the Holy Spirit wants to say. So I, th again, this is his platform. This is his channel. I am just the vessel. I am just coming on here to release what he wants me to release. So I am allowing him to have full you know, access um, to me, to speak through me to you and to also speak to me, you know, because listen, we are all in this together. Glory to God. But the Lord wanted me to, um, there was a, do I have the right book? No. Um, there was a dream that the Lord gave me um, a, a while ago, a while ago. Um, I had to go and pull out the journal. This was back in um, October. It was actually October 2nd of 2020. And I'm not even sure if that was the actual date that I had the dream because um, I have written a 10 to 2020 revelation. So the Lord uh, gave me the revelation on that date. I could have had the dream before then. Um, but the Lord wanted me to kind of go into some specifics and he wanted me to share. I'm not going to share the entire dream with you. However, there are certain parts that the Lord wants me to um, speak on. And, you know, um, he just wants to be able to drive home that there is just so much information. What the Lord is saying is it's in the details. And I know that's going to be a part of the title of this message because the Lord has been saying that to me all morning. Shannon, I want you to let them know that it's in the details. That's why it's so important for us to dive in and dig into whatever the Lord is saying to us because, you know, I've said it before, but a lot of times the numbers is just to get our attention. And also it is to communicate like he's communicating through those numbers and he's saying things to us. Right. But he wants us to dive in like, don't stop there. He wants me to expound on that. Don't stop there. Ask the Holy Spirit if he's showing you something, you know, that you see 333 all the time. Don't just be like, oh, 333, I know what that means. Because when the Lord shows me 333, he's saying this. It can change. It can change. What it meant yesterday may have a totally different meaning today. So when you see these numbers, you ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, what are you saying to me? Like, what is it that, that you are trying to communicate to me? And so this is an example. So I had a dream. 
And it was a very, very, very detailed dream. But in the dream, um, there was a piece of paper that was given to me. Someone had given me a piece of paper and it had a name on it. It had a name and a number attached to it. And I could not remember the entire number when I woke up. I'm assuming, I vaguely remember, I'm assuming that there was an entire number on the piece of paper. But when I woke up, I could not remember the entire number, but I remember 247. I remember that. I remember seeing 247. And the person who gave it to me said to me, um, Miss Emma wants you to contact her. Because there's some things that she, there's some additional information that she wants to give you. And so there was some information that was already given to me by this person who was giving me the piece of paper with the name and a number. But what they were letting me know was, uh, it's not going to stop there. I need you to make a phone call and contact Miss Emma. But... On the piece of paper from Miss Emma, it, it, it wasn't just the name and the number, but it also said, great job. I am proud of you. And although I was happy, I was very confused at what I had done to make Miss Emma proud. And so the dream goes on to speak about some other things. But what the Lord wanted me to highlight to you was that there was a message in what that person had given me. The, and alongside that message, they gave me a piece of paper. And they said, Miss Emma wants you to call. And I could not remember the entire number, but I remember 247. And on the piece of paper, there was a message from Miss Emma that said, great job, I am proud of you. And I was extremely happy. But although I was happy, I was confused. What did I do to make Miss Emma so proud? And, and, and that was the purpose of me calling Miss Emma. That's why I had to call Miss Emma. Hmm. And I'm sorry, guys, because my mind is just like kind of going off. But um, when I had that dream, of course, I journaled it. And again, I have the date of the revelation. So I had to seek the Lord on um, everything that he wanted me to get from that dream. And so with me doing so. Um, oftentimes I'll ask a lot of questions within my journal, like, Lord, what is it that you're saying to me? What does this mean? Like, what does 247 mean? And sometimes if I don't feel like the Lord has given me a, a direct answer, I'll start going into different tools and I'll start looking around, you know, I'll use the blue letter Bible. I'll go into, um, Strong's Concordance. Um, I will go into prayer. There's so many different things. I'll start looking up scripture. There's so many different things that I'll do because sometimes the Lord wants you to seek him. Sometimes he won't just give you the answer. That's the purpose of building your relationship with the Lord. You have to seek. You have to do the work. You have to put the work in. And so I remember I did those things. Like I was going into scripture. I went into Blue Letter Bible. You know, I went into various tools and I was just really coming up empty and it, while I was in prayer, the Lord was saying, Shannon, look at the number. There is no other number associated. You can't remember the rest of the numbers. Look at that number. Because, see, what happens is he's also trying to develop you in your walk. He's trying to develop you in your gifts. He's trying to get you to see beyond what you see. And the only way he can do that is if you exercise, if you exercise your gifts, if you exercise your ability. 
So he said to me, Shannon, look at the number. What do you see? And I'm like, Laura, I don't know. 247. It says 247. Okay, what about 247? Look at it. What is it saying to you? What he was saying was, Shannon, use the gifts that I've given you. Look past 247. And I'm like, okay, 247? Like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, you know, I'm really looking at it. And what he's saying is exercise your gift. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, 24 7 24 24 7 so the number that the lord gave me to reach him he was saying you can reach me 24 7 and i remember when he that's why it's so important that you can't just automatically put god in a box and think that the revelation is coming from scripture or that it's coming from a specific tool that you normally use. You don't know how God is going to use what he's giving you. And that was something that I needed at that time. I needed to be reminded, Shannon, 24-7, it doesn't matter what time of day. I don't care if it's morning. I don't care if it's afternoon. I don't care if it's late in the midnight hour. I am here 24 hours, seven days a week. I am readily available for you. And that's what he's saying to you right now. It does not matter. And it, and it, Again, it, it coincides with the message that the Lord had me release on yesterday because the Lord is saying, stop being so busy. Stop being, and a lot of times we're busy and we're not doing anything. Just because you're busy don't mean you're being productive. Okay? So if you're being productive, that means you're doing something that God told you to do. A lot of us are being busy, busy bodies. The Lord is saying 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I am readily available to you, for you. So when that revelation broke and I was like, wow, Lord. Okay. All right. Call me 24 seven. I'm here, but I need you to call me now. That's why in the dream, the person that the Lord used gave me the number, call me, call me. And so it's in the details. Remember that it's in the details because there was a name associated with the number that was given to me. And I remember as I was writing, I'm like, Lord, Miss Emma, like that was very specific. What do you mean by that? And at the time, you know, I guess when you're journaling, especially journaling a dream, a lot of the times, you know, you get up early in the morning, you're, you're, you're writing things down, but there's other things that you have to do in your day. So a lot of times it's just enough for me just to journal. Like after I get finished journaling, I have to get up and I have to get, you know, my children ready. So this may have been a day where I just kind of journaled it and kept it moving. Because I know me, listen, God wants you to go beneath the surface. Like when he gives you things, he don't want you to just look at things from a surface level. He wants you to dig deep. You're not going, there's a lot of things, and I'm going to keep saying this. It's a lot of things you're going to miss if you just keep looking at the surface level. There are things that the Lord wants us to see and hear in the spiritual realm. In the supernatural. So you got to dig deep. And if you're just looking for things to come like they normally come to you. A lot is going to pass you. You're going to miss a whole lot. There's a lot that the Lord wants to say. So. The Lord brought that revelation. And so he said, I have more for you to unpack. It's in the details, Shannon. It's in the details. Look up the name Emma. 
And I looked up the name Emma. My God. Y'all, I was so... I was just like, wow, my mouth dropped. When I looked up the meaning, the biblical meaning says, my God has answered. And this was pertaining to, again, some things that I was going through. And he was letting me know, it's in the details, it's in the decoding. You have to decode the messages that God is giving you. He's not just going to always come flat out and say, yes, no, go here, do this. No, sometimes he's going to give it to you in pieces. Like you have to, you have to look for it. You have to dissect it. You have to break that thing apart so that you can get the entire message that the Lord is giving you. So at that moment, at that time, 247, and I'm pretty sure if you break it down, you can get a scripture out of it. I mean, because that's just God, you know, it, it, it's just how he works. It's just how he works. I mean, I do have some scriptures that are associated um, with 247. Um, and let me just see something real quick. Cause I don't know, like I try to be, I try to be careful, um, with what I'm sharing because again, everything ain't for everybody. I know I can get a, a, a amen on that one because let me tell you, um, Okay, yeah. So um, everything is not for everybody. And we have to be okay with that. There are so many people that want to know what you're doing. You are not obligated to tell anyone anything that the Lord is not releasing you to share. People will get really, really bold, like, so what's up? So what's up with you? Like, you know, they'll hint around. So what's going on? How you been? What you doing? What you been up to? Oh, good. I'm good. Everything is good. I had, yeah, so so what's up with you? You have, we have to all learn boundaries. Everything is not for you. Even if you are close to someone, please don't be offended. Don't be offended. It's not to offend you. Everything is not for you. It doesn't mean that you're going to go out and you're going to do something wicked. You're going to. Now, listen, some people do. Some people do. But that's not always the case. Information is not always withheld from you because, you know, we don't trust you or we don't think that you're valuable in our life. Sometimes it's just none of your business. Sometimes it's just none of your business. And you have to be okay with saying and receiving everything is, I'm good. Sometimes you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with that. Because everything is not meant to share. Some things the father wants to just be between you and him. The word of God says there's a time and season for everything under the sun. So it doesn't mean that you may not be privy to some information at a later time. You may not be privy to certain information at all. If you're not privy to it, if the Lord is not allowing you to take part in what is going on, then just know it's none of your business. And that is okay. That's okay. It's okay. I had no idea I was even going to go there, but somebody needs to hear that. Because there are a lot of people out here that are bullies and they will try to make you feel like you're wrong for not indulging your information. But in on, on the flip side of it, they won't sit there and indulge information with you. 
They don't want to tell you their business, but they want you to, to tell yours. And it may not, again, it may not be a thing, you know, people get offended by that. Like, well, why is she being so secretive? Why is she, it's not a thing of being secretive. It's a thing of, it may not be any of your business. That's number one. And number two, maybe the Lord, like, have you thought maybe God doesn't want this person to share certain things, but people feel entitled to know, to be in the know, because if the Lord wants me to say something, he's going to have me get on here and say it. He's going to have me pick up the phone and say it. If there's something that I need to share, I'm going to share it willingly. But not feeling like I have to be uh, going through a, an interrogation to get information from me. You have to you have to set up boundaries. So yeah, I don't release anything that I don't feel led to release. And I wasn't always this way. There was a time I used to just blah 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 blah. I would just tell everything the lord made me this way so if you have a problem with the way that i am you got to take that up with the father if someone has a problem with the way that you are they have to take that up with the father because i promise you i wasn't this way the lord had to tell me i would be sometimes i would be in conversation and the lord be like shannon stop and sometimes I would hear him telling me, stop, stop. Sometimes the Lord would have to be like, shut your mouth. Stop. That's how much I used to talk. I used to tell everything. And the Lord had to grow me up. He had to mature me. And he had to say, Shannon, everybody don't mean you well. And that is the God honest truth. The enemy don't like to be exposed. But I'm not doing what I do based on what the enemy likes and what he dislikes. I'm here to glorify God. I'm here to grow. I'm here to mature. There's times that that's a hard thing to do. People don't realize how difficult it is to keep your mouth shut. I had people attacking me talking about me behind my back tearing me down and i know they're doing it i know they're doing it and the lord is like mm -mm, don't say a word and i remember when i first when the lord first started dealing dealing with me um as it pertained to that i was like what and the lord would be like shannon leave it alone i got it I used to have tears in my eyes. Like, Lord, they kicking my back and they tearing me down. They this, they that. And the Lord, like, you don't, you don't think I see this? I see it. Don't worry about it. I got you. I'm building something in you. I'm building character in you. I'm building you spiritually. Every battle is not for you to fight. I have when I tell you I have it, I have it. But there are times where the Lord will allow you to speak up for yourself. Those times I'll be happy. I'll be like, oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. Thank you, Lord. But then he reminds me, and do it, Shannon, do it in love. Do it in love. <laughs> do it in love. You know, because you get tired of people picking and poking and oh, but you get tired of it. it the longer you live, like I'm starting, I was just telling somebody the other day, I said, now I get it. When they say, um, when people get older, you know, um, in age, you don't care what you say. I can see how it gets to that point. But the Lord had to remind me, no, Shannon, you're going to care about what you say. You're not going to become bitter. You're not going to become angry. You, you're not going to do that. You're going to care about what you say. If you need to correct a situation, there will be times I'm going to allow you to do it. But understand something. You need to do it in love. He gets on me. My instruction come from the Lord. 
And if people have a problem with you obeying the Lord, then you know what side of the fence they sit on. That's all I'm going to say. When people start fighting what the Lord is asking you to do, when people get upset because the Lord is telling you to do something, you know who they're being used by. And understand something, any of us can be used by the enemy. Any of us. None of us are exempt. That's why we have to stay on our toes. That's why I stay in a place where the Lord, because I'm not going to sit here and say there hasn't been a time that I haven't lost my cool. I've lost my cool. I have never not one time come on and, and, and uploaded a message that ever said that I am perfect. I am far from it. However, I am striving each and every day. I'm intentional about the things that I do. So much so that the Lord has to remind me, Shannon, there's grace. Someone told me a long time ago when I had my daughter Grace, um, and, and I love her. I haven't spoken to her in a long time, but I love my sister in Christ. I do. I love her so very much. Her name is Carrie, by the way. I'm putting her name out there. Because what she told me was... God gave you grace manifested. He gave you grace manifested because he wants me to remember, Shannon, there is grace. There is mercy because I'm hard on myself. Why am I hard on myself? Because I want to do the right thing. I don't have a heart that want to tear people down. I don't have a heart that want to be malicious and nasty to people. My heart ain't built that way. I want to love people. Anytime I've gone off, I've gone off due to hurt, not due to being messy and nasty. And a lot of us are in that position. Hurt people hurt people. But you have to be intentional about the decisions that you make. And the only way you can be intentional about the decisions that you make is if you put God in it. If you keep him at the forefront of everything that you do. Yes, you're going to mess up. This ain't for that because he understands. He understands. He gets that part of it. You're going to mess up. But if you're messing up, is stemming from you being intentional about the decisions that you're making, then the Lord is saying, I can work with that. I can heal you in those places if you let me. If you make a decision to look at, at the details. If you go into the details of it, if you make a conscious decision to say, Lord, I am here, do a work in me, heal me from the inside out. But a lot of people are afraid to do that because with that comes pain. I can remember times that I was laid out on my floor, bent over in pain, crying, heart broken, spirit just People don't see that. They see the happy Shannon. They see the, the joyful Shannon. They see the Shannon that's at peace. But you don't know what I've had to go through to get to this place. That's why I don't allow nobody to move me. You can't move me. Which brings me to a point that the Lord wanted me to bring up. The same way people go to college and they graduate with degrees. Is the same way you graduate in your relationship with the Lord in the supernatural realm. And what God gives you when you graduate with the Lord, when you overcome adversity, nobody can take that from you. I know who I am. I know whose I am. So those who try to come up against me, oh, understand you're coming up against someone that knows who she is and whose she is. The enemy is always going to try to come and scare you. He's always going to try to come and frighten you. But you can't frighten somebody who was created. <laughs> I serve the creator. 
The enemy was created. You trying to scare who? I serve the creator. It don't go no higher above him. So any scheme, any plot that the enemy tries to bring against you, it's all for naught. It's going to fail. The word of God says the weapon might form, but it's not going to prosper. So all that hoping and wishing, all of that, you know, you got witches out here putting spells on people or trying to anyway. I remember I would see certain things and I would laugh at it. People would come trying to attack me. And I don't even respond to it. The Lord be like, don't respond. I'm going to tell you something. Because the Lord is telling me I can. I'm going to tell you something real. This is real. This is how bold people get. <laughs> I had a person pull a piece of my hair. I, a person, you heard what you just heard. I had a person pull. Pull a piece of my hair. And the way that it happened, it happened so quick. But I saw it. And the Lord said, don't worry about it. Don't, don't even flinch. Don't even flinch. I got it. And I was just like, did they just do what I think they just did? Because it all happened so, it happened fast. It happened real quick. And the Lord said, I'm going to let you see it. They thought they, were being, they thought they were being slick. But not only do I have it, but I'm going to let you have front seat. Don't worry about it, Shannon. I got you. And that's exactly what I did. Do you know what type of restraint you have to have? When you see somebody trying to come up against you, that's real strength. Strength is not always in snapping back. My God, I had no idea this message was going here. Somebody needs to hear this. You have everything you need. I promise you. You will lack no good thing. The word of God says you will lack no good thing for those whose walk is upright. I promise you, your father, your creator, got your back. He has your back. I don't care who's coming against you. I don't care who's coming out against you. It doesn't matter. Family, friend, foe. It doesn't matter. God got you. The Lord will take people up out of here first before he let them do anything to you. I promise you that. See, I am who I am. And I go so hard for the Lord the way that I go hard for him. Because I know who he is in my life. You guys have no idea what I've been through. We all have a story. Sometimes people look at you and they assume because they can't see the scars. They assume you don't have you don't have a story. Cuz you don't see my scars, you think I don't have a story. I promise you I got one. I have one. And I have people that remind me, "Shit, how do you do it? How do you do it?" I have someone that I love very dearly that said to me, Shannon, you make this look easy. I don't even think you realize. And I'm like, oh, I don't realize. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I realize it. I have to go through it. Most people tap out and say, I can't do this. It's too hard. They tap out. I'm not tapping out. I'll be wanting to. Listen, <laughs> I'm human. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm human. It's not that I don't want to tap out. It's not that. There's times I was like, well, I can't do this. I can't do this. And the Lord said, and you will. Yes, you will. 
you can do it and you will do it. Yes, you will. So I'm not saying, trust me when I tell you, it's not easy. I know it's not easy. I know that. I've had to push through it. I know. I know. There's times I was like, really, Lord? This is why you brought me here? For me to be beat up? For me to be hurt? For me to go through this? For me to go through that? There's times I felt like I was people's punching bags. Really? And you telling me to be quiet? You telling me to be still? And these people coming for me? Really? I gotta be still? These people deliberately trying to hurt me? And you telling me, bless them anyway? Really? I got to bless them? And they sitting here trying to kill me? And the Lord said, yep. That's exactly what I'm saying. Peace, be still. I got you. Ain't I got you. I'll take them up out of here before I let them take you. I got you. I hope you guys are hearing me. I hope you guys are hearing me. Because I don't open up like this to everybody. I only do it when the Lord say do it. And he said, it's time. It's time. Because people got you misunderstood. People don't realize who, I, who, who, who I'm bringing up in the spirit. They don't see you, but they about to. They about to. They about to see you in all your greatness, in all your splendor. They about to see you because they've been sleeping for a long time. People have been taking advantage for a long time. They've been talking about you for a long time, but I'm bringing you out as pure gold. As pure gold. See, there's a time when the Lord is going to say, be silent. And let me just deal with you on the back end. Let me just do a work in you. Let me build you up. Let me put some word in you. Let me tell you who you are. Let me tell you who you don't have to be afraid of. You don't have to be afraid of nobody. They walk and talk and breathe just like you. And it's not all about the physical strength. It's about the supernatural. Because I've stood up against some very strong people. And I'm talking about physically strong people. People who are much bigger than me. People who are much stronger than me. People who are much more smarter than me. God says all of that don't matter. Because you have me. And as long as they're using their gifts and their abilities for harm. They're going to always lose. They're going to always lose. They're going to always fall short. Because when they come against you, they're coming against me. And I don't play about my children. The word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So when you think you're hurting me, when someone thinks that they're hurting you, they're not. It's backfiring. You don't even have to do anything. The Lord said, don't do nothing. Don't move a finger. Don't say a word. I got it. The word of God says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And when he releases you, when he finally releases you to speak up for yourself, oh, you will be reminded, do it in love. <laughs> do it in love. Because see, he don't want us to get beside ourselves either. See, this thing don't just work just for the enemy. It's for you too. Because see, God it governs it all. He governs it all. He don't want us to get too high and mighty either. So he, he expects us to operate in all humility so that we don't get puffed up. I don't speak what I speak because of what I've done, because of who I am. I speak what I speak because of who my God is, my creator, my Lord, my savior, my every, 
thing. He is my everything. He is my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He is my cousin. He is my husband. He is my protector. He is my defender. He is my way maker. He is my path to righteousness. He's my everything. There, there isn't anything that I am in need of as long as I am walking with the Lord. There is nothing that you are in need of as long as you are walking with the Lord. You will lack no good thing. None. God is not like that. He's not like people. He's not going to say, oh, you turned your back on me. I'm not going to do this for you. Yeah, You may have to go through some things. Absolutely. And you may not get things the way you want them. But trust and believe. Trust and believe. If you get into your secret place and you pay attention to the details and you talk to your lord and you ask him father i don't get it i don't understand why are you doing this to me what are you trying to say to me what are you trying to get from me he's going to answer you it just may not be the way you think he's going to do it but he will do it i promise you that i know i know firsthand i know firsthand 24 7 24 hours a day, seven days of the week, the Lord is saying, I am here. Call me. I'm here. Talk to me. And the Lord reminded me that as I was going through the things that I was going through, that I am proud of you. I am proud of you, my daughter. And I've answered you. I've answered you. Continue to look in the details. Continue to seek me. Because his answer is not an answer with a, it's a it's a never-ending answer. He's always speaking. He's always talking. He's as long as we have breath, the Lord is always speaking. He he will explain anything that you need explained to you, he will explain it to you. He will in his time in his way and what i suggest because a lot of the times the questions that we have are painful it's painful but all you have to do all you have to say to the lord is lord help me to receive it allow me to be now don't go asking the lord stuff that you ain't <laughs> oh excuse me don't go asking the lord for things that you're not ready to receive you have to mentally and emotionally and spiritually be in a place where you can receive the answer. Because some things hurt. Some things just hurt. I'm sorry. Some things just, just hurt. It is what it is. But make sure you're ready for the answer. And make sure you're ready to listen. Be ready to listen. Don't ask a question to respond. If you want an answer... Be ready to hear God's response, but ask him to help you in that. Lord, help me to process this. Help me to receive it in a way that is healthy because I really want to know. So help me receive it, Father. And he'll do just that. You know, um, I just thank the Lord so much for having his way because Again, I didn't know where the Lord was going with this message. I knew he was going somewhere with it. I knew he was because I felt it. It was bubbling over. And as you see, just in my delivery, you could tell. I mean, I just knew I felt it. I'm like, the Lord got something to say. Glory to God. We should be thankful that we are in a place where he wants us to hear from him. That is such it's it it's it can be difficult. Yes, I agree. But the Holy Spirit is not going to allow you to do this in a way where he's not going to help you through it. He's going to help you if you ask him, if you allow him the opportunity to do it, he's going to do it. I promise you that. So, you know. 
I just still feel like there's a lot more that the Lord has to say, but I feel like right now it's time for me to bring this particular message to a close. Um, don't be surprised if I jump on later tonight, later this afternoon, um, because there's there's a lot, you know, I, I really do think, um, and I'm not going to say I feel like I'm in a place where he's going to start having me come on more because every time I think I'm there, sometimes he pulls me back. But one thing that I can promise you is that whenever the Lord asks me to come on and release a message, I will do that. I will do just that. I promise you that. My desire, wholeheartedly, my desire is to serve the Lord. I make no apologies for that. I don't. Because that's what I was born to do. I don't care what I have to put to the side. You know, I love people. Absolutely. From the bottom of my heart. That's why I do what I do. This is the reason why I answered the call. Because I love people and I really do want to help. But the Lord had to get me out of my feelings on a lot of things. He had to deal with me on a lot of things. He deals with us all. He wants to deal with us all. He wants to clean us all up so that we can finally like really just make strides and move into our purpose. So I pray that this message has blessed you. Um, feel free if you want to uh, send me an email. If you, you know, need some encouragement, please send me an email. The, the My email address is in the details of my um, my page, my YouTube page, but it is Shannon Monique123 at gmail.com. I believe that's what it's Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N, -N -N Monique, M-O-N-I-Q-U-E, 123 at gmail.com. If you need some encouragement, I don't have, listen, this is what I'm here for. The Lord is building me. He's, he's maturing me, you know, and I'm just, I'm, I'm grateful that he chooses to use me. If the Lord, and if the Lord, this is the thing. I can only respond to what the Lord allows me to respond to. So understand that definitely go before the Lord and ask him if you should reach out, because if the Lord is saying, no, I want to deal with you, or even I want to send somebody else in your life to help you, you have to go with that. Go with that. Because if you reach out to me and the Lord is telling me not to respond, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say I'm not going to, I'm just going to ignore your email. I will let you know that I received your email as best as I can. And, but I would, you know, say, you know, I've gone before the Lord and he's really not giving me, um, a response for you, but I'll pray for you. You know, prayer is always a great thing, right? So until next time, family, I pray that you guys have an amazing day. I pray that you are blessed and I pray that you truly carve out your time and go into the details Go beneath the surface. Don't stay on the surface. Go beneath the surface. Dig deep. It's so much mystery. It's so much that the Lord is saying. The Lord had me share just a little bit of it with you. Just a little bit of it with you. The 247 and the, and, and the name. That's just a little bit of it. There's so much I have found by digging deep. Oh my gosh. This times the Lord had me in tears. Happy tears. Because I'm like, I can't believe he's talking to me this way. I can't believe he's saying this. Like, the things that I found, you think finding happiness and joy is in material things? You have no idea what happiness and joy is. None. You have no idea until you find that in your Lord. So until next time, family, I pray that you have a blessed day. Shalom.